The March jobs report brought more blockbuster news today for the U.S. economy and the president's economic policies. 303,000 net jobs were added to the economy, pushing unemployment down slightly to 3.8 percent. Good Lord. This is an economy that you can't keep down. Today, the president released a statement that read in part, three years ago, I inherited an economy on the brink. With today's report of 303,000 new jobs in March, we have passed the milestone of 15 million jobs created since I took office. Unemployment has been under 4% for the longest stretch in more than 50 years. Wages are going up. Inflation has come down significantly. We've come a long way, but I won't stop fighting for hardworking families. Okay, so what's the problem? Glad you asked. Friday's jobs numbers could be revised down after that happened with 12 of the past 14 reports. On Friday, the Bureau of Labor Statistics did report 303,000 workers were hired last month, but the job gains have largely gone to foreign-born workers, both legal and illegal immigrants. Excuse me? But the job gains have largely gone to foreign-born workers, both legal and illegal immigrants. The challenge that we have as an administration is we got to let people know who brung it to them. <laughs> That's our challenge. From February 2020 to this past March, the number of migrant workers grew to 3.4 million, while the number of U.S. born workers declined by 78,000 over the same period. I believe the job of the president is to fight for you, the American people, and that's what I'm doing. I need one guy who knows how to paint. That's me! I'm here! Hey, I was here first! America is back. 